Today we're talking about two simple things you can do in your takeaway that I guarantee are gonna add four, five, up to eight miles an hour of club head speed, and it is easy to do. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna first of all talk about, in the takeaway, two components, proper lead arm movement, left arm movement for me, and proper wrist movement, all right? That's the keys we're talking about. So let's dive right into it. Now, first of all, when the lead arm works in the correct motion, it has some freedom to move. So let me show you, first of all, what most of you are doing. If you're slicing the golf ball, okay, you're hitting them off the toe, you're hitting them off the heel, you lack distance, this is probably what you're doing. When you're swinging the club back, you're swinging your lead arm really far and inside because somewhere down the road, at some point in time, somebody told you you're coming over the top. So in an effort to fix that, what you've done is you swung your lead arm, your left arm, really low deep and back and behind you. And where it should be moving, it's more out in front. So let me go ahead and hit a shot once. And I want you to watch my lead arm, okay, and where it travels. It's gonna be straight back, up, and all the way through. Now, we call this, I call this, the vertical line swing. Now, we've even developed an entire system around the vertical line swing. And the reason I did that is because I got so tired of watching golfers struggle and take their lead arm and swing it inside. So here you go, let me show you down the line. This is what you're probably doing. Lead arm, working deep and inside. Now when the hands are back here, lead arm's deep. One is, notice the length of my backswing? Super short. How am I gonna hit the ball anywhere with this short of a backswing? It looks like a wedge shot, okay? But also in this spot, the arms and hands wanna go out and across where it should go, especially for those of you out there who are I like to call experienced golfers, a little bit older golfers, right? Okay, senior golfers, your lead arm, okay, should go more straight back this way and up. I want you to think about some of the greatest golfers of all time, arguably the greatest golfer of all time. And you know who I'm talking about. Where did their lead arm go? Right here, straight back and more up. It's what I call the vertical line swing. So let me go ahead and hit one more shot for you. I'm gonna to work it right here. Vertical line, straight back and straight up. Here we go. And I want you to notice the freedom. Look at that, the freedom of that and how simple and easy it is. So that's tip number one. Get the lead arm working more straight back and up. Now, let's talk about the second component and that is proper wrist movement. And I gotta tell you this, hey, if you haven't already, Join us here at US Golf TV. Join the family, subscribe, ring the bell. We are growing like crazy right now. And the reason we are, in all due honesty, is because we're doing our best to provide good, solid content for all of our fellow golfers. And I respond to all the comments. I love hearing from you. Some of these ideas that we're talking about, I get them from you. So thank you for doing that, because I really appreciate that. Now, also, let's talk about, like I said, proper wrist movement. Now. I got so excited I picked up this plane slider because I wanted to show it to you so quickly, but I gotta tell you first of all what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna set it back down because you, you gotta see this thing. It's, it's pretty damn crazy and it's super easy to use. So proper wrist movement. Now, here's what most of you do with your wrist in the back swing. When you swing it back, we already talked about lead arm, right? It goes inside, but you take your wrist and they get really what I call flat and around. So it's here and it's flat and around. Notice that, okay? Now this club is what we call off plane, okay? We've done other videos on swinging the club on plane. If you want more details on that, check those out. I don't have time to go through that right now, but just understand that this position here is off plane. Now, why is that so bad for your golf swing? Because the club wants to find balance. And when it's out of plane, it's going to want to try to find balance, okay? Now, what does that move look like? Off plane, finding balance. Looks like over the top, doesn't it? You've seen it, probably seen it in your own swing. You go back, somebody says you're over the top, so what do you do? You go this way, well then instinctively when you swing it, when you make a downswing, you go out and across that way. Tough move to change, okay? So that's why, when I'm working on it, I wanted to share with you today and show you the plane slider. Just, I just got this literally like a couple weeks ago, I've been just playing with it a little bit, trying to help my students, and what I love about it is it's so simple and easy to use. So how it works, it's got the slider right here, Okay, all right, but when you swing the club back and you swing it on plane, boom, did you hear the click? That's on plane. Hear the click? That's on plane. That's literally how easy it is. So I'll give it to a student, I'll say, swing it back, 
hear the click, boom. I'm like, all right, you got the feel? Yep. Then I'll give him a golf club and I'll say, all right, let's get you set up here. Let's go and swing, give me that same feel. I'll even tell them to kind of visually picture themselves doing it, but also hear the click, go back, okay. Once again, super easy to use. Now, let's also talk though about the downswing because that's where dropping it in the slot and the speed comes from. So when we swing it back, if we get it to click, get the club on plane, what happens then? It drops into the slot and the downswing, right? And it re-clicks. So we'll do a little two-setter, excuse me, we'll do a three-setter with two clicks. You know me, if you've watched any of my videos, I love three setters. So let's do one, here we go. So we're gonna hear two clicks, three setter. Ready, here we go. Click, click, there's one. Click, click, there's two. Here's my last one, my three setter. Click, click, okay? Now I've got the feel, all right, of what it's like. I grab my golf club. Now, first of all, the club feels super light because the plane slider is a little heavier. I like that part of it. And now I'm just gonna replicate that. Man, this club feels really light. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go click, click. Nice, nice and solid. So if we want more club head speed, four, five, eight miles an hour, you gotta get your lead arm working correctly. You gotta get it going more vertical versus inside. And you also gotta get your wrist working correctly. These couple tips will help you get more club head speed and also help you improve your contact and therefore more distance.